My star, it is good to see you. Oh, how I missed you. After we spent that time, I couldn't get you out of my mind. Not even once, no matter how I tried. It was humbling to know how much you mean to me. As a man, and as a proud member of society, and of the heroes, my heart has beaten for you. Uh, I hope it doesn't sound strange. I've tried very hard to make sure I am not misunderstood. I have strived to make sure that you understand that I am here today to invite you to participate in something beyond us, bigger than you or I. There is an important mission that should be handled by me, but I fear that I lack the quirk needed for such a decision to be made. That is why you, my star, oh, did I make you blush? That makes me a little bit proud. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to smile at your embarrassment. No. I wanted to give you something. This. I made it for you. It's an origami pendulum. Or that's what it was told to me, as being something that, well, it fits inside of a necklace. It has words on there. Words written that you can't see now. And I hope you'll read it someday. Especially if I ever get injured. It will be for your eyes and yours alone. I've always cherished the idea of distincting my words and making them mean something. That's why I choose them so very carefully. You are the one exception to this rule. Dear love, I care about you on so many levels, as much more than I ever have about anyone else. I thought I had no clue as to what true love was. But you have shown me the new light of things. You have shown me that you are the shining star in my eyes. So, my star, because I am someone who likes to be prepared, and because what happened to my brother has recently been on my mind, I felt I should give you this. That it's incredibly important that you understand. I will do everything I can to stop the villains that we that we had to witness. Not directly, but indirectly. On the news, I'm sure you saw it. The dastardly beings. Striking at the shopping district of all places. A place meant for family fun, not for tragedy and sorrow. So many lost their homes and well-being and even some their lives. That is why I came to you with this charge, this very important mission I want to share with you. Won't you join me in a surveillance of the area? It's been off limits for quite a lot of time, as things need to be rebuilt and made safe. The bombs, though not widely discussed, had a poison to them. That's caused so much more dangers. Some that were exposed that were originally thought to have no damage 
contracted a dangerous poison to their lungs. It isn't something that strikes fast, but more and more we're discovering there's a connection between it and the incident. So with your help, I was hoping we could avoid the dangers, and with your quirk being immobile but immensely useful in such things, I thought if we combined our quirks, we could very quickly find clues, and that you could be my eyes. So that together we don't have to worry about the pitfalls. Like last time, how we were caught off guard by that strange, bodiless voice. The Puppet Master. I learned a bit about him. Being that I don't like to be unprepared in case we meet the fellow again. I tend to think within the box, though. That's also something of a reason why I want you there. You contrast me. In such a delightful way. The chaos to my order. I feel as though, thanks to you, I've come out of my shell in many ways. There's so many things that I used to dread. That I used to feel was simply beyond me. I've become more attuned to understanding myself, to being someone that can relate to others and see them in more than just the literal light. You have cleared the way for me, my brightest star. You give me hope in this world, and I'm thankful for you every single day. If ever it seems that I'm not, then I must learn that much more. There's so much more to it, as well. I was hoping that we could bond today and learn more about each other through how we work together. Perhaps we're a very good team. It is my hope that you'll be my partner in the future as well. I have already made it unofficial. Well, it's official you're my fiancé, but... Well, I didn't want you to think that I... am just someone who... doesn't respect you, and doesn't understand that you... and I... We have so much to learn about each other, and I feel like I haven't given you enough of myself yet. It's not easy to give so much and to open up to some things. It's because I lack the confidence in my interpersonal relationships. They are extremely difficult for me. I would say stressful, but not with you. You have helped me improve on so many levels already. I've become someone better through knowing you, through being with you. And my love, I just wanted to say more than all of that, more than that I'm thankful, I'm in love with you, and that love can be quite scary. But I'm contending with it and adapting to it as best as I know how. It's my love for you that causes my greatest fear. What used to be harm coming to my family is now seeing harm come to you. I cannot justify these feelings other than they are overwhelming. 
my conviction, my fervent belief that you are my one and only. I don't want to view things as black and white, but I was hoping that after today we would be stronger together so that fear in the back of my mind could be quelled. I think we're lucky. Our quirks happen to make up for the, well, the weaknesses of the other. Where yours renders you immobile, mine is the epitome of mobility, but lacks insight. You are both my sword and my shield, but I will be the gust of wind under your feet, the breath of fresh air that saves you from mediocrity, from anything sad. I will be a shield to you, like armor to anything that would do you harm. I will stop it, dodge it, and prevent you from suffering. I swear on my honor and on my pride as a hero. This is all so difficult to say because I feel that fear in my soul is sometimes intense, deadly even. And I want you to know that I that it's all right. Once we're done here, once we have treaded through things and done the job for the day, I was hoping you'd join me for a romantic date so that we could bond and learn more of those personal details. I I am honored to spend so much time with you and that you feel similarly to me. I can't express it enough. You are my love. You are so much to me. Thank you, my star. I wish to remain like this for just a moment more, feeling your forehead against mine, your breath against my face. It is so reassuring. It makes me feel as though I'm truly worth your time. And that makes me less scared. Thank you for being such a bright and shining light in my life. Though before there is anything further, I must be honest with you. There is something imperative to discuss. It would appear that things have not gone so well with our former classmates. I don't know the details, only a reliable source has told me. There's been something wrong with Midoriya lately. I won't get into details because... It is unwise to speak on this beyond the basics, because we won't know until we have more information. Was there anything you wondered, my star? Better to wonder now than when we're in a potentially poisonous area. It could be treacherous depending on what villains we face, if any. Keep your eyes peeled, and if it's not too much to ask, would you mind 
if I gave you a piggyback ride. It's not that I wanted to, it, it just seemed like a rather cute idea. Carrying you like that, it made my heart a flutter. I am not ashamed to say it, and I would say it a hundred times more, because I find you adorable, and running with you on my back, it makes me feel as though I'm doing something worthwhile. Y yes, nothing too serious, it, it just... Perhaps it's something that strikes my heartstrings very... Uh, I'm sorry. I lack the words, but would you mind humoring me? Th thank you. I have no... Um. Thank you, my star. Feeling your weight above me, and your arms around my neck. This is truly a momentous day. <laughs> Shall we be off, my love? Your gallant steed will take you to victory. <laughs> it is like the jousting wars at the sports festival, isn't it? Those four years ago. It's been so different since then. But nothing is quite that different. I'm thankful for that. You have not changed, dear star. But now I can see you in all your beauty in all your gallant and wondrous self. Uh, sorry, uh, my love, I... It's just you're my fiancé now. And partially it's not hit home yet. That it's reality and not just my dreams. Ah, uh, excuse me. We'll be off. <laughs> How do you like feeling the wind through your hair? At this speed, it's quite exhilarating, isn't it? I've enjoyed it for many years. I'm thankful for my power. My quirk, but also my responsibility. It gives me a means to an end. To run faster, to help faster, to save more lives and be more of a hero than ever before. I wish to be the very best, and I know I can do it, if only I keep trying. With your help, I know we can do great things. You can help me. With being a team, we could Take on even the strongest villains. And save even the most desperate of civilians. When someone is in need, I can get us there quick. And you can work your magic. Search and rescue. Among taking the fight to villains, we can certainly find a healthy balance. I believe in us. To be quite honest with you, since knowing you, my star, I felt more at ease, despite the fear of losing you. It's always struck me as a new goal in life, in love, and in the future. I will never let harm come to you. I swear it. Not only on the proud Ida name, but on my own. I am no slouch when it comes to protecting. It may not be my quirk's specialty, like Kirishima, but... 
It is my passion to see the weak taken care of and the strong assisted. And you are strong in my eyes. And we made it here. Past this yellow tape is going to be the danger zone. So please use your quirk and guide me. This way. What we're looking for? To be honest, I do not know. I fear it's not something anyone really knows. They just figured, sending me is someone who can quickly get themselves out of danger. And if I need to, I can pick you up too. You are not that heavy. It warms my heart to have you along. But we must stay at guard. Just in case there is lingering threats. I say we start at the base of things. It is my information that the bomb started in the sewer system. Now if we can find what's left of it, looks to be this way. Hmm. The bombs did quite a number on this area. It wrenches my heart to see this, and I'm sorry that I had to bring you here. In this condition. Here. Put this on. We each need to wear these masks. It's imperative that we do. Otherwise, it may spell the end of us if we go down there unprepared. It's an airborne poison. So the more we can avoid the risk of us getting infected, Less we'll have to worry about rushing to the hospital. This way. Don't touch anything. Please allow me. You just hang on tight. Oh, let me turn on the comms. Oh yes, that's better. Keep your eyes peeled. We don't know what to expect down here. I've got the flashlight here. Hang on tight. It looks strange. What are these scratch marks? They look as though it's been clawed out. That doesn't make sense given it was explosions. Hmm. Perhaps we're looking at this the wrong way. These may have been here before. It's very difficult to tell. Their forensics didn't turn up very much, other than the poison. And frankly, they don't trust the police to go in this deep. Not when such a dangerous villain is working. We need to see what we can do. Over this way. could this be? What a strange chamber. I think it's some kind of treatment area. Though, I'm just thankful that we haven't seen anything too gruesome. Over here. Perhaps I uh, approached this the wrong way. There doesn't seem to be anything too telling of a sign down here. Perhaps the villain left some kind of clue, something when they were placing it. Let's look at all the locations where it seemed to be the epicenter of the explosion. That may be the clue we're looking for. Ah, you have a better idea. Please, do tell. Ah, 
I see. That's brilliant. Using your quirk like that, we may very well be able to pinpoint a location if there was one. What an insightful decision. My star, you are shining as bright as ever. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to give you this. Just on the off chance that something ever happens to me. You can store it in. In this pendulum. I meant pendant. I was just a tad bit nervous there. Don't worry about me, I... <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything will happen to me. But I just wanted to make sure that you had it. That you had this because it's frightening sometimes. Especially when the ones we love are wounded or hurting. But I want to give you some of my strength. Some of the things that get me through life. Just in case there comes a time because in sickness and in health, I intend to care for you. May you never see these words. But if you do, know I will return. Tenfold the man I was, and twentyfold as determined to make you smile. Now, shall we execute your plan? Ah, uh, yes. Good idea. Getting the high ground will make this easier. So you say to be on the lookout for something glimmering. I may not be the best in sight, but I can get us there quickly before the echo of your quirk returns. Or is it that it times out? Pardon me, I, I still am learning. Ah, yes. I understand. How positively useful. You never cease to amaze me, my love. So, I believe we go up to this point over here. And... We're at the top of the pinnacle. So, as soon as you go about it, if it's close enough, I'll activate my gear. And we'll go there as quickly as possible. So that it doesn't time out and we lose it. All right. On your mark. Get set. And go! I see it! Hold on tight! We're almost there! It's flickering, but... I see it! What is this? Are you sure this has... Some kind of... Relevance to who placed this. That can't be right. This is... Th there's certainly some mistake. It couldn't have been. I... You're certain. I'm unsure of how to feel about this. Do I even tell the Heroes Association? You are right, my star. But what do we do from here? To think this was done by such a dear friend. The flames of betrayal. They wound my heart. Does it mean 
that he's fallen so far. Midoriya. I don't want to believe this. Did you really play a part in this tragedy? I must find him and ask him directly, but now is not the time. I think we found more than enough. So for now, let's leave this sad place. What do you think in the matter? I know you were only somewhat close to Midoriya-kun, but... Do you think, after the incident, after All Might, do you think he would stoop to this level? No. You're right. I feel bad for even thinking that. But this is elaborate. I know with how things have been going. Midoriya is suspected already. So it's imperative that we... With... Hold this? I... Am unsure of how to feel. But until I speak to him directly... And see the look in his eyes... When he sees this... It's part of his costume. It makes me so angry to think I would suspect a friend, but am I wrong in being suspicious? So much has changed when that day occurred. So many people stolen from their world and cast into oblivion. Isuku Midoriya really do such a thing. I must believe in him. We must believe in him. He has never let me down. And despite the trying times since All Might, and the tragedy that he accidentally propagated, it doesn't change what we must do now. Getting to the bottom of this is for his honor as much as ours. We are heroes, not cutthroats, stabbing each other in the backs. So, won't you believe in me that we can deal with Izuku the, the other way and hopefully he's innocent? I would never want him to be a villain, let alone a villain capable of this. How sad it would be if the look in his eyes shows ill will. I would have to apprehend him, but that's no easy task. Perhaps together we could. But it still makes me nervous. No other is quite as dangerous as Midoriya. I digress. You know what we need. We need to go to a much better place. Hang on tight. My star, I have just the place. Are you ready? And we're off. <laughs> it was actually All Might himself that taught me to smile and laugh when things get the worst. And that's why I can right now. It's not just a brave face. I believe in my friends just as much as I believe in myself and as much as I believe in you. My star, 
Let us debunk and dismiss every negative thought that this place has brought to us and find ourselves a path that we can enjoy the night still right this way now I'm sure you're hungry after all that oh I suppose we should take the masks off should we not Ah, oh, how refreshing, isn't it? Being able to breathe the fresh air again and be free of the poison in our hearts. I suppose that was a bit formal of me, but that doesn't change how I feel. Now, shall we? I have a very good idea of what we should do. Do you like... Street food, by chance. I very much love, especially, Indian street food. The taste and the price is just right. I've always been quite frugal for a member of my family. And while I will spend anything on those I love, I don't quite enjoy the expensive cuisine. Not as much as I enjoy the simple. A tasty treat is all you need. Sometimes, at least. Come now. Let's go get some if you like it. See these? Such a simple dish. Chicken skewered. But it's really the seasonings that strike it as different. And its dipping sauce is wonderful. I believe they call this satay. I very much enjoy it. Though my pronunciation may not be as good as someone from the mainland. Mm. Mm. Do you like it, oh, my love? I sincerely hope so. Ah. Oh. There's other ones as well. Like these pastries. Somehow they blow them up like balloons. Yet when you bite them, they melt right in your mouth. It's quite indulgent and delectable. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. But it's never stopped me from enjoying them. Just in finding them on off days. And then, we must get a drink as well. Do you like chai tea? There's a fresh and quite intricate blend of chai tea that's served on this street. Most people stay away from this side of town, but it's quite beautiful, I've found. There's rumors of a Yakuza but I've never seen any crime. So as far as I've ever been concerned, it's been safe, sound, and orderly. And I have a subtle respect for those who conduct their business here because they are brave and they give it a good name. Isn't that right, shopkeep? Huh? Exactly. He understands. Oh, uh, what? It's... I think he understands. He seems a bit sleepy, so let's not disturb him. This way, we simply can't sacrifice dessert. I think after a long day's work, a reward is in due. And what better way than to enjoy a fresh-made dango ice cream? I don't know about you, but the mixture of the bean paste and ice cream, it comes out so delectable. It makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Here we are, the best of the best, saving everything for last. The Dongo ice cream vendor of them all. Mm. Now what flavor do you like? My personal favorite is green tea. 
It gives such a sophisticated taste, but has just the right amount of sweetness and that wonderful taste of tea. I also very much like the red bean paste ones, with for that sweet and traditional allure. Here, let me get us an entire box. A sampler, if you could. Oh, um, coming right up. It seems we've run into a shy one. Have more confidence, girl. You have beautiful looks and a hidden charisma behind your eyes. Uh, thank you. I guess it can't hurt to try. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. See? You can do it too. Now let's be off. I apologize. I think that must be the new girl. I don't know what is bothering. But at least we got her ice cream. I'm glad you have more confidence than her. It'd be a shame to see you not bold enough to have confessed to me. It's quite unnerving to say this, but I think I would have never understood love without you. I simply lack time for it. A true understanding of what it means to love someone, or the feelings of it. I cherish duty, and order, and, and what my responsibilities were. I never even thought of things this way until I properly met you. I am truly a fortunate man to have a fiancé as bright as the shining stars above, which you can see. Why don't we watch them together before we go to our next destination? Look up. Can you see that? It's my favorite star. Well, I suppose it's a few of them. Orion's belt. For some reason, it always gave me a lingering feeling of hope. I don't really have an explanation, but it was very much something I agreed with. Uh, but putting that aside, would you join me? Join me for the next part of things. It may seem as though it's something strange, but humor me. I wanted to take you, um, how do I say this? Um, to a place close to my heart, as it taught me a lot about my love of writing. Though indirectly so, it's a museum of sorts, but a museum of, well, let's just say, for now, would you like to make some pottery with me? There's a, a class going on, and I was told by one of my dear friends, Mr. Marx, that we could come in any time, and he wanted to meet you. That way, that way I can fulfill the agreement I had with him, as well as give you a new experience, something that you can be proud of. I completely understand if you're not interested, but so you'll go with me. Oh, yes, I knew I could count on you, Star. There's another reason why I wanted you to meet him. He's close friends with Gran Torino. The one that Midoriya trained under. And so did All Might. May his soul rest in peace. So if you'll humor me. I wanted to do it as much to share some time with you. 
as I did to get a second opinion. I admittedly still have it on my mind. As much as the food and company, it helps. It doesn't fully purge my mind of thoughts of what if and worrying about what Midoriya might have done. Perhaps he would have insight. Let's go. Here we are. It's been quite the trip, hasn't it? <laughs> but I assure you, when it comes to pottery and the arts, this man knows how to inspire you. He has a quirk, one that is quite abnormal. He doesn't age, so he's very eccentric, very ancient. I don't know how old he is, and he's very sensitive about his age. So don't call him old as he, well, he looks as young as I. Hopefully, he understands why we're here. <sighs> Hello, Marks. It's good to see you. I came here with... with my beloved fiancé, and... we were seeking to do some pottery in your class. Ah, uh, now, now. Don't act a stranger with me. You are as welcome here as in the Ida State. Your family has helped me a great deal over the years. It's been my pleasure. It is good to know. I... I knew that already. It's just... How much father respects you, I... Sometimes feel a bit intimidated. Now, now, that doesn't change how things should be. You are like family to me. Much like my friends. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to meet you, too. Things have been so strange lately. As I'm sure you know. And judging by that... Which... Tenya as in his hand. Things got more complicated. Yes, I found this in a rather precarious location where the bombings happened and you wish to know if I know if the boy himself the green-haired one if he is Guilty. Y yes. Something along those lines. We just wanted to get some information. Mm. I'm afraid that that's not something that I could possibly answer. If only because that's not my place. The boy has gotten himself in trouble ever since... The tragedy. But that does not mean that this is his doing. I agree with you. It could just as well be a ploy. Something placed there after the explosion had taken its toll. For now, I feel you have to approach this with some delicacy. Ah, so my instincts were right. Then, you don't think... I do not think about such things, because I do not have the time nor the effort to waste on them. I am a very busy man, and I seek to give you what you desire, but I do not have the means. So for now, do yourself a favor and wonderful fiancé of yours, and don't worry about it. Life is too short for most people, 
You can't let it be a worry. You are correct. I appreciate your insight. I knew you were the right person to speak to. I feared that there was much more going on. No, there is no reason for you to just assume this. There is so much that we do not have the information for. Not you, not me. And we must take it one step at a time. Now do some pottery for me. Won't you? Just do it. You with that lovely fiancé. You deserve a break from the monotony. From the stress of the day. So, why don't you give it a try? Will do. That's... All right. We move over here, and then... Then we do it like this. And... You're too tense. You'll make a pot that looks like a soldier at this rate. <laughs> I can't argue with that. I... Need to relax. How are you doing, my star? <laughs> what a pompous statement that you did. To think that you would worry about your fiancé, who's quite a lot less... jittery than you, to be frank. You should worry about yourself, Denya. Your fiancé is making you look bad. <laughs> But with that said, you keep up the good work. You might have a future in crafting. Could it be a quirk of yours? Yes, I think I've got it. And... Voila! What precisely do you think you've gotten? You've not done anything remarkable. Look beside you. You're too focused upon one thing. Impressing another. But you haven't thought once, have you? About the creative insight. The heart that is part of art. I suppose you could say your insight, your working within your own means, is the seed of your undoing. I see. I've still got a long way to go, but... My God! Star, you've made something beautiful. Such an amazing piece. I'm humbled by your artistic glory. I would have never guessed. You are such a legend at this. Oh my. Look at the time. We best be getting home. We can finish this later. No, not to worry. I'll fire these pots so you can pick them up later. For now, just get home safe. That'll be your payment to me. And you can get some sweets for me later. You know what I like. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Marx. We will... see you again. Until next time. <laughs> You can understand what I mean now when I said he was eccentric, can you not? I can still hear you. You better not talk behind my back now, or you'll have something to cry about. Uh, my apologies. That was irresponsible of me. <clears throat> Shall we be off? Let us get home. We'll take the express route. It's time to take a boost. Get up on my back, and you'll have the most comfortable ride to our estate, our future home. Yes, because we are set to be married. That home is 
Obviously yours now is... well... You can sleep in the room next to mine. Okay? Yes, it's not like you have to, I just... I would love it if you stayed. So that we can talk the night away. Am I to take that as a yes? Then I am incredibly happy. Oh, my lovely, my beautiful, my gallant fiancé. I wish to show you the world. One kiss at a time. We are here, my love. Thank you for everything today. You were impeccable. And truly a sight to behold. I couldn't have done it without you. Not even half as good. And... <coughs> no. Don't worry about it. I seem to have just caught a cough. <coughs> I feel fine as can be. Let's go. Shall I show you to your new room? It will be here for you whenever you visit the Ida Estate. It's complete with style that I, uh, personally played a hand in. I framed this. Do you remember this picture? Uh, from us when we went to the baseball game. It was... It was right before the the f first kiss that was amazing and special and I, well, it's still, I can remember every detail. It is truly something I could never forget. So I ask you if there's anything you'd like that isn't already here. I styled it according to your favorite colors. A little research showed me what they were and I maybe got carried away. Do you like it? Oh no! I must have made a miscalculation. I'll, I'll fix it right away. Here, just let me call the... You... what? It's not the room that counts? You don't mind? Well, that's lovely news. I'll, uh... I'll just, uh... Uh... You really are an amazing kisser, aren't you? Well, I can't lose. Not this time. Mm. Your lips are so soft, I can't help but find them intoxicating. Mm. 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 Ah. My love, my star. You make a fire burn in me that I didn't know I had. And I must have more of you. No, not this time. Mm. Mm. Oh, sensitive a neck you have. It's... 
very erotic. I dare say painfully so. Your hands, they... They're warm and tender. It feels amazing. I... Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Your touch is all I need in this world. <laughs> What if someone sees us from the d doorway? It's... It's all right. I can just get up and close the d door. Not your... Your mouth! Uh, I can't move. If you're going to do that, my love... That's too much. Your soft lips are... Too much? If you continue, I may not be able to stop myself. King, this... Such a difficult one, aren't you? Not a moment to let up. My love, I can only take so much of the stimulation. I. I'm so sorry, I seem to have made a mess. It didn't stay in one place, so p please allow me to... Oh, I suppose that is an effective way of cleaning yourself off. Uh, well, I... I guess I can shut the door now. Is everything okay, Master Ida? I'll just close the door. Um, excuse me? What inopportune timing! I... Well, at least she closed the door. Um, well, I'm not going to resist. If I've learned one thing from today, it's that I won't let small things hold me up. Even if the whole world saw you, and saw me. It doesn't matter. Because I love you. And I will never look down on that. And we've only just begun anyways. I believe you have something to answer for. I am still, well, in fifth gear, if you understand my lingo. Something about the way you entice me, I simply cannot. Itadakimasu.
Don't squirm. I'll take care of you. It must ache, doesn't it? Mm. Flavor, my love, is exquisite. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Nothing could quell my want for you. Only this will do. Pardon my impatience, but you looked as though you desired me in all my... in everything that I stand for. As your man, I can feel you right up against me. Uh, uh, what an exquisite, intoxicating feeling. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, uh. My star, you have shown me things, day in and day out, that I never thought were meant for me. I thought duty and a life purely dedicated to family would be my goal, and you shone new light on that. I could never tire of you, my star. You mean more than every star in the sky to me. There is only one of you. One in my heart. That it beats for. That everything I do seems to revolve around seeing that smile. I love you, my star, and I will cherish every day we spend together like it is my last, because I will never take you for granted, never in all my days, which I hope are many, and that we can enjoy so many things together. I cannot wait. Perhaps someday we may even start a family of our own. Though I'm fine either way. Never feel pressured, my love. You are all I need in this world.